welcome back to my channel. I'm actually in Seattle right now. I had to do a quick last minute trip to Seattle to get some paperwork signed and I fly home tomorrow night. I just got to the hotel. I actually got upgraded because the hotel apparently was really booked. So they were like, oh, we upgraded you to the suite for free. So I got a suite, which is really exciting. It's like just a little suite, it's nothing crazy, but it's cute. I'll give you a little tour. Tomorrow, I'm gonna be a tourist. I'm gonna explore Seattle fly home tomorrow night. So a really quick trip, only here for two days, but I figured I would take you guys along with me. I'm going to just hang out tonight. I think I'm gonna order some maybe sushi at the hotel. And then tomorrow is a full day of exploring Seattle, which I'm excited about because I've never been here. So I'm gonna quickly give you guys a little tour. So this is the little living room, little desk right there, bedroom. I just took a shower, did a quick skincare routine. I ordered sushi. This is a salmon roll and then a lobster and crab roll. I'm starving right now. I don't think I ate a meal since like 11.30 this morning. And it is currently almost 9 p.m. I heard that Seattle is like known for their seafood and salmon especially. So I was like, let me get something with salmon in it tonight. I'm gonna try the salmon one first. Also, you wanna know something really weird? They literally did not give chopsticks. Like, I've never heard of a sushi restaurant that didn't give chopsticks. So I'm eating this with a fork and I you can already tell it's falling apart. But we're out here trying our best. I feel like sometimes noodles are tricky with chopsticks, but sushi, I just feel like you grip it all better and it like keeps its shape better when you use chopsticks. Cheers with my sushi and fork. So good. Nothing honestly feels better than having a long travel day, flying on a plane, road trip forever, and coming home at the end of the day and being able to take a nice hot shower and get in comfy clothes. There's nothing better than that. I don't even think since we've been living in San Diego, I've eaten sushi. We used to get sushi all the time in New York City. I'm happy I'm eating. That makes me feel good, but I'm not gonna lie. I do feel a little like sad right now and I think it's because I'm alone and I know that might sound weird but I feel like there's something about solo traveling that feels kind of like lonely. I'm only here for two days. Like it's one thing to fly or travel by yourself and then get to the destination and meet up with friends or family or visit someone you know but like when you're literally flying or traveling at all like by yourself when you get to the destination it's by yourself it does feel a little lonely like i feel like i miss dom and my family my friends like i feel like i'm like in the feels right now part of me was thinking that i should like book an earlier flight home and just not explore seattle tomorrow the other part of me is like gab you flew all the way here you might as well like try to enjoy it try to sightsee a little like explore so I think that's what I'm gonna try to do. And I feel comfortable doing things alone. Like it's not that like I'm fine going to a coffee shop and sitting down by myself or like going to a museum by myself. Like I'm totally fine with that. It's not that, it's not the comfortable level. It's the loneliness part of it. Do you know what I mean? Like, does anyone else feel like that? I'm an only child. So I had a lot of alone time growing up, but Something just hits different when you're traveling, I guess. I think I'm just gonna push myself and go try to have fun tomorrow and explore a new place. Then I'll be back tomorrow night. So we're gonna do it. We're gonna go, we're gonna have fun. We're gonna go seize the day, see a new city and have fun. So I'm gonna relax tonight and I will see you guys in the morning on our day exploring. Going on a bus tour. I decided that it could be fun to do this because I don't have a car so I feel like this will be like the most fun way to like see the city of Seattle, get to like explore and see all the sights. So right now I'm at the public library because this is where I'm getting picked up. I'm like right outside of it but like look how cool the public library is. This is one of our most popular attractions, the original Starbucks coffee store. And they usually have a line going down the block. The tour is going well. We stopped at this really cute cafe. And it's so cute. I got this little like biscuit thing because I'm starving. 
We have like a 20 minute break on the tour because it's a three hour bus ride. So I'm gonna eat my biscuit and get back on the bus. This is the tour bus. Second stop on the bus tour. We're at a fisherman's dock. Forgot to show you guys. I'm wearing this cute little white t-shirt and then jeans and sneakers. I think I changed my mind because I feel like I'm doing okay. I don't feel lonely. Something was giving me the feels last night. I think it had to do with like maybe being in the hotel by myself and traveling. But I feel better now. I feel like the tour is fun. I'm seeing a lot of Seattle. Yeah, I feel good right now. And I'll be home tonight so it's not like it's that big of a deal. This is our last stop on the tour. It's so pretty. So this is Cary Park and it has a really pretty view of downtown Seattle. There's the Space Needle. Here's the water, it's so pretty. I just got to the airport. Dom is coming to get me, so I'm excited to see him. All right guys, so Dom just picked me up. Thank you guys so much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed this video. Please don't forget to like and subscribe so you don't miss any more of my videos. And I will see you guys next time. Bye.